Okay, we're going to do a quick video on the XPR 8300 repeater. This repeater is a rack mount repeater capable of both digital and analog operations. If you get the ham split, like a 403 to 470 is great for ham radio. This is currently in a configuration for with a wall mount on it. This is the wall mount plate which attaches to the repeater. You can see it attached to the side here. This part is going around the top also. Then the, the other part extends in the back. So you just mount the plate to a wall, set in the repeater, and it's mounted to the wall. This repeater would typically have a duplexer, such as this item right here. This is a relatively inexpensive duplexer. This is an American-made one, good quality. That's is probably the, the best way to go if you're going to go with a small duplex. You stay away from the. I'd recommend staying away from the China junk that's all over eBay and online. This is an RFS cell wave duplexer here. They run about 50 watts. Pretty pretty base, basic but decent. And this is currently in an analog operation right now. This repeater is not capable of doing like a dual mode or mixed mode operation. It'll only do either digital operation or analog operation. You have to adjust it in the CPS one way or the other. And currently, and again, it's in analog. This is the analog light. That would be the digital light. It's currently off right now. And so, take a look on the CPS here. I'll show you exactly how to adjust the analog to digital. And basically what you do is you go down here to, this is your analog icon. This is your digital icon here. What you do is you go into your zone, okay very simply take this, drag it down here, put your digital on top, and then if you want to look at some of your digital settings here, color code is the only thing you can store in here. And then you can store your frequency down below as well. So that's the only thing, is basically frequency and color code. The next thing that's maybe of interest is if you go under your general settings, right there, and you look at this. You got your SIT and your call group hang time. Those can be adjusted and you can kind of hear your buzz at the end of your transmission. It also has CWID, which is a great feature as well. If you go down a little farther on the sidebar, here's your CWID, and you can just put in there whatever text you want, whatever call sign you want. You can have your timers, you got your CW speed. Now, if I key up this repeater, it may have been about 10 minutes since the last time it ID, and we'll see if we can get it to ID. Okay, keying up the repeater now. Okay, it's been just, uh, just under 10 minutes, so it's not going to ID for us. Okay, so anyways, what we'll do is now we'll go ahead and switch it over to digital. Currently, it's in analog. All we do is go up to the clone, or sorry, the write option, which is right here. Push that. And it's going to go ahead and dump our change from analog to digital into the machine. over here this is basically going to reboot now that it's, it's programmed it's rebooting and the repeater is ready to go in, in anal, a digital mode now so now if I'm currently in the analog channel the repeater completely ignores it okay so now if I go to digital Channel 2. Hit the PTT and it's going to hear it. If I run, if I run secure... If I run secure through it, repeater does not care, it just passes secure right through it. Channel 4. Okay, here's time slot 2. 
Okay, turning down the analog radio so you don't hear that again. So basically, here's a demo. Here's time slot two again. Here's time, two. Here's time slot one. All right, next I'm going to try, if I don't have quite enough hands to do this, but we'll give it a try. I'm going to put it into time slot one and time slot two. Channel four. Transmitting. See if I can keep both radios at the same time here. There's time slot one, time slot two. So this repeater is currently holding two conversations at the same time. Now it's just getting ready to drop. And that's a quick demo of how to adjust some of the settings in the XPR 8300. Thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, just throw some comments out there. Take care, guys.